Hello, welcome to this tutorial, and today we're going to be making this awesome text effect. And it's a pretty simple tutorial, but it looks great. Alright, let's get started. What we're going to do first is uh, make a new image. 640 by 480 will be just great. Click OK. Alright, now what we're going to do is go to the text tool and uh, use sans bold, and I'm just using 198 and uh, type whatever you want. I'm just going to type GIMP. That looks good. Uh, now what we're going to do is go to Layer, Auto Crop Layer, and this just basically uh, makes the layer the size of what's in it, if it's an alpha channel. And this means that I can take the Alignment tool, click on it, and make it to the center of the image, just to be a perfectionist. So that's looking good right now. Alright, now what we're going to do is go alpha to selection and go select grow and let's grow by four pixels we're gonna fill we're gonna make a new layer and uh, just click that click OK and fill that new layer in with white select none then go to your black GIMP layer click alpha to selection and then go to your white GIMP layer that you grew and click delete or edit cut on your keyboard <laughs> and uh, you can select none. Now what we're going to do is go to the GIMP layer that we just cut out and go filters, blur, Gaussian blur and that's way too much. We should put it around 8 or 9. That looks good. Click OK and it's hard to see the effect because we have a white back background so we're just going to leave that out of it. That looks good right now. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer and uh, I'm going to put that in between the two text layers. And we're just going to fill the whole thing in with black. And your uh, paint bucket tool should be fill whole selection, which is just easier. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to alpha to selection the black text layer. And then click delete or edit cut on the whole black layer. Just to cut. It's like a cookie cutter, basically. We can select none. And uh, then what we're going to do is click on the black layer, which got cut out, and go Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And uh, we can turn it up pretty high. I'm going to go with that. That looks good. Uh, now what we're going to do is alpha, uh, alpha to selection the black layer and then go select invert and just delete that from your uh, whole black layer you can select none and you really don't really need this layer anymore so I'm just gonna click the eye so it's like not there now that looks good right now but the background is just gonna ruin the effect so what we can do is click on the background layer and go filters render clouds difference clouds now I'm using the settings detail 15, 9, and 9. And uh, I find that that looks pretty good. I know it says solid noise at the top, but it's different cloud, difference clouds. Click OK, and uh, let's wait for this. Alright, so now that looks great, but uh, I think we can delete this background layer. Uh, it needs some color. That'll just really pull it off. But first what we're going to do is alpha to selection the black text layer that you can't see, but you can still play with. Click on the uh, cloud layer and click edit, uh, edit cut. And then we're just going to paste it back on to the top, make it a new layer. That way the text is different than the background. For the background, we're going to go colors, color balance. And I just want to have it be a nice yellow. That looks good. Click OK. It doesn't really matter, but I like the yellow color that it gives you. Then go to your uh, cutout layer of the clouds and bring it to the bottom right above the background. And go colors, color balance. And I find it really looks good because uh, if you do it to blue, because if you already did it to yellow, there's a nice contrast. So if you turn up the blue, that has a really nice text effect and I really like it click OK and it's done 
you have just created a really cool text effect. If you want, you can go uh, layer and then new from visible and then you can just uh, merge it all down uh, layer um, merge visible layers click merge and you can just delete this black one and there you have it there is your awesome looking text effect and you can put that as a wallpaper or give it as a gift to somebody print it out it's, it's just really good so uh, thank you for watching this tutorial.